guys welcome to today's video today we are talking about something really exciting it is a set of Sennelier oil pastels so I am just showing you here that I created this little box set of pastels I have a video about this on the channel um, and generally I like to do it this way I like to create my own uh, sets so collect the colors open um, stock and then just curate my own set but I found this uh, beautiful set I really liked the box and I got it for a really good price so this is 200 on Blick and I got it from Jackson's for almost a hundred dollars so and yeah it had just everything so it was a really lovely set um, I think this is the first full set of anything that I've actually bought so you can see it's got a couple of pamphlets in here just showing the colors and showing um, the products that Snellier has. So, um, and then the, it comes really well padded and I mean, however, I don't think that these need like too much padding, but it, yeah, it comes just really nicely packaged. Um, technically, I was thinking about taking them out of this and um, putting them in there, but I you'll see in the video I've left it there for now I've actually taken out some of these um, colors and added some others like you can see that it's really blue heavy so when I'm swatching it out two full lines are blue so I took out four blues and two the, the two blacks and a couple of other things and there's still probably more blues than any other color in there so um, yeah, but I took a few out and added some others to kind of create the set that I wanted. So um, I think also in that video I show this. So it's a little bento box with some pastels and then at the bottom I have my oil pastels. So I take a few of these out to actually add to that set and then kind of swap some around. So you can see here um, what I wanted to add. So I'm kind of looking at all these. I think, I'm not sure, I think the kind of that yellow orange one there, I just leave the one that was in the set. Um, but everything else I added in. And um, yeah, so we will swatch everything. And I will also swatch the ones that I have there on top as well. And you can see here they also have a grand version. So it's a really large version of the oil pastels, which are really beautiful as well. So... Okay, so we are swatching it in this really large sketchbook. You can see um, it has the vellum in between the pages, so I thought it would be really nice. And I will link this below. I can't remember offhand what it's called, but um, I'll link it below. So I just start the page the way I always do and just create a little emblem and a little heading uh, for the page and for what we're doing here. And then I did write down... Um, before we swatch them all of the numbers so that I remembered um, to you know swatch everything and made sure that I had swatched everything but um, as we're swatching along the swatches are a little bit bigger than the space that I left for them so you will um, see that I, I try and hold the number up so that you can see it because the number may not be exactly what's underneath it so just be aware of that you might have to kind of count along um, but I wanted to do this and kind of show you um, how I also use them. Like I really like to just use my finger and just uh, smooth some of it out. So I like to leave some and yeah, smooth it out. But I also found a tool that kind of works like a paintbrush and we will look at that as well um, towards the end. So...
Okay, so you can see the swatches there and you can see that I have also put some metallics throughout as well. So I really like to have a few of those. Um, and yeah, you can see how many blues there were. But So this is um, the tool that I found. So this is called a color shaper and I got the angled chisel. So I had never tried one of these before. Um, and I wasn't really sure like how it would actually work, but I really enjoyed it. So we just do a couple of little uh, florals here and yeah, I really, I really liked how it, how it worked. So um, the way that I am using the oil pastels is I'm basically kind of building up the picture, the, the painting. So um, generally on this channel, we work with watercolor and you know when you're using watercolor you work from lightest to darkest and so I found it really interesting um, working with these because you can actually add you know light back in um, I think you can't I don't know I'm not exactly sure but like I found that there it would only take so many layers of the oil pastel so I did have to be careful like I couldn't do you know the whole flower dark and then um, lighter and lighter so I still kind of you can see like I put in different uh, values and different colors um, around the petals and then I'm using this tool to actually kind of paint those all together to um, yeah to kind of um, do that and I really I really really enjoyed um, the way that they blend and the way that you kind of um, pick up different little bits of pigment and then um, it kind of disperses in a painterly way so it's really beautiful um, and it was just really interesting to kind of use a new and different medium so generally when I use them I will pro and you can see there as well it cleaned off really well so I wasn't sure if it was going to you know clean off but you can just wipe it in it and it cleans off really well so um, but yeah Generally when I am using something like this, I'll have a layer of watercolor. So I'll probably block in colors with watercolor and we'll do like a whole nother video about that. This was just really some quick things to kind of show you. And I did really enjoy like just having those extra colors that I could put in, um, you know, at the end or like with watercolor, you kind of have to plan out a little bit more precisely and Kind of think it through almost a little bit before you have done it and uh, it was nice with this just to be able to um, add in you know extra colors at the end different color notes and things so yeah that was one sort of unexpected thing that i really enjoyed about these um, so i I feel like I still need to work with them a little bit more to get a handle on the colors and neither thing came out exactly how I was kind of thinking of it but you can see it. I really enjoyed um, all of that texture and I'm just showing you here so oil pastels don't dry but you can frame them or you can double frame them but you can see like you want the raised frame and the best way to sort of keep them is um, you know with a frame like that behind glass so I liked putting them in this uh, sketchbook because you have the vellum there you can just use wax paper as well or something like that in your sketchbook I find that wax paper um, doesn't transfer much of it it more tra le like leaves it on the sketchbook page which I like so I had this little um, iris that I had painted um, just at the end of the day one um, day last week and so I thought we would just try one of those in um, oil pastel so I am kind of very loosely um, kind of sketching out the shapes here of the iris and um, so I am in a hurry when I was doing this and then I was looking through the phone and I realized I was not doing a very good job so um, once I did this I realized I should have actually just grabbed my printable out and then I could just kind of see what I was doing so I grabbed it out here um, and yeah I started 
kind of trying to fix it a little bit and the thing that I enjoyed about the oil pastels is that you can sort of more easily fix things and you know go over things and add things um, but yeah one of the things that I wanted to say is that it didn't exactly neither of them exactly turned out how I wanted color wise like I kind of had a different idea and I'm gonna have to work with them a little bit more to kind of um, think it through a little bit more what I'm kind of trying to do so we'll do that in another video and um, I talked about this a little bit in the New York video when I, I wasn't really happy with the painting um, so for that video I had wanted that painting to just be kind of a time lapse and then that was kind of like a warm-up one and then I wanted to do another one so um, yeah it was like 4am and I couldn't really figure out how to get that to work and I realized now that I very easily could have just sped it up a little bit and just said a few things but um, yeah just no brain power at that point so um, I just I kind of just wanted to say that as well because like if you know often the painting may not go exactly as planned um, something may not work and um, I find that is quite often like with my videos but often you just have to kind of let that go and try again next time so um, yeah that's kind of the same way that um, this video went today like I have some other ideas but I, I am happy with you know just starting and um, so yeah so we will definitely use these and try some out um, in some different ways once I kind of think about the colors a little bit more so I kind of had it in mind more of a really soft pink rose um, iris and then I just started putting the orange in I didn't necessarily just want to just want gray in there so anyway I I don't know so I will rethink it and redo it again because maybe I should have used that so anyway we will we'll see but but yeah it was enjoyable to um, create and to kind of try something different like this so I really liked painting kind of with this as well but this video is kind of a prequel to the um, one that's coming up that's going to be a full um, like art haul and swatching of some different pastels and some different things that I have so this was kind of part of that and I thought this needed its own video so um, otherwise the whole video is going to be way too long so we'll kind of break it up into a few different parts like this and I'm thinking that that might be out next Saturday so rather than in two weeks I might restart the two weeks next Saturday we'll see how I go and I do have something else special that I'm hoping to have organized by then as well so um, yeah you can see like I really love at the end how there's like all this texture so quite beautiful and the only downside to the oil pastels is that they don't dry so if you have ideas about fixatives or anything like that um, you can let us know you see that I just put the wax paper in there and just um, washi taped that in as well so um, yeah those are the colors that I took out and that is kind of my final set once I took those out and added the other ones in so I'm really happy with it and we will definitely be um, using this for some other things and you can see as well that like with the printable there like you can use those with different mediums try them with different things and just use them as a starting point like um, it was much easier for me to kind of form the iris once I had kind of looked at that and figured out um, yeah where I was going to start so I am just showing you here the a couple of other little things for the haul they're actually antique items that we're going to use to um, fill them with some of the new art supplies I really wish they made boxes like this that were for art supplies but um, yeah so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will um, see you in the next one have a lovely week bye